This is Pooh Bear. Now, this is Chase's Pooh Bear. Um, he has had this Pooh Bear since he was six months old, okay? As a matter of fact, Chase actually had uh, eight of these Pooh Bears. And now, Chase never ever had um, a pacifier or a seuss or whatever you want to call them. Um, he had Pooh Bear. And the reason Pooh Bear's ears are cut off is because what Chase did when he was a, a little boy was he actually sucked on the on the ear of Pooh Bear. That was his soothing, his soother when he was a little boy. So he would, we, he would uh, use Pooh Bear's ears as a soother. But um, he, this Pooh Bear's been around for a while. All the other ones are gone. But as he got older, like it was really funny because when he was a little a baby, like he, you, it, I'd purposely go in his room and take Pooh Bear out of his mouth and like pop him over somewhere in his crib to watch like an infant, right, with his eyes closed, like fumble around. He'd grab him and then he would like, he knew exactly how to move him around to pop him back in his mouth. It was the funniest thing. But yeah, so as Chase got older, he didn't want to get rid of Pooh Bear because Pooh Bear's a part of our family. So what he did was he, he did this himself. He actually cut the ears off as a way of forcing himself not to suck on Pooh Bear's ears because it, it kind of got nasty after a while. But yeah, but that's the story of Pooh Bear. And Pooh Bear does not sit in Chase's room anymore. Hold on, I'm just gonna squish him down. Pooh Bear doesn't sit in Chase's room anymore. Pooh Bear actually sits in um, in my room, <laughs> beside me on my on my nightstand because mommy can't doesn't want to get rid of him. Yes, we're minimalists, and that's the only thing that I've kept. Okay.